Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up voting on your Minecraft server. We're going to be doing this with voting plugin and new votifier. Both are required in order to get voting on a Minecraft server. This is going to be how to do this on just one Minecraft server. If you have a bungee cord network, it's going to be a bit different and I'll be doing a video on that in about a week and a half and we'll go over how to do it on bungee cord because it is different from how to do it on one server. Nevertheless, we do have a sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below. The break breakdown.xyz slash apex get an awesome 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server with one click mod pack installation one click bucket one click paper one click spigot installation it is absolutely incredible we love apex so much that we actually host our own server on them play.breakdowncraft.com so nevertheless if you want an incredible 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server running anything you want that gives you full control over it check out apex minecraft hosting at the first link down below again that is the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless let's get right Right on to this. So first and foremost, you will need a voting plugin here. This is the second link down below. So you'll need voting plugin. You'll also need new votifier, which is the third link down below. Voting plugin actually needs new votifier to work. A votifier gets the votes, right? It's what says the votes are there. Voting plugin manages the rewards, manages giving your players the links, all of that stuff. So once you've got these downloaded from the description down below, make sure if you're downloading, by the way, the 1.13 version, you download the newest. If you want an older version, it tells you how to get that right here. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And I've already got this set up on a server. So this is our voting server. As you can see, here's the file. And if we go into plugins, we do have Voting plugin and new votifier here. We're going to start off with new votifier, so go ahead and open up your votifier folder. And then obviously, we're just going to jump right into this config here by just uh, double clicking on it and opening it with Atom. Atom is my preferred text editor, it's completely free. However, you can use whatever text editor you want. I will link Atom in the description down below. Nevertheless, once we are here, we just need to check our port. And specifically, we do need to port forward this port right here. And if you don't know how to port forward, no worries. We have an in-depth tutorial on it that is linked in the description down below. And this will walk you through exactly how to port forward, exactly how to get everything done when it comes to port forwarding. So go here, go through that tutorial, and then that will be that. And you'll be, uh, you'll be good to port forward the port 8192. So make sure that port is forward. It actually doesn't matter what port you put here. If you do want to change the port and say do 81920, you can, but I'll just leave it as 8192 and then forward that port. After you've done that, you want to make sure it is saved and then we can go ahead and close out of it. Then we need to come back over here to the plugins folder and then this time we want to click on voting plugin right here. Once we've clicked on voting plugin, we want to click on vote sites. See that vote sites.yml? So double click on that. That will then open up this handy place here where we can go ahead and add in any and all voting sites we want. Obviously, we're just going to be adding one today, but if you want to add more, just copy and paste. You get the point. Multiple voting sites all the way down through there. So we're going to be using minecraftservers.org, so we can name this whatever. I'm just going to name it Minecraft Servers. And then we do want this to be enabled. So we want to be able to see this voting site in game, so change to enabled to true. The voting site name, this is what it's going to show in game, so we're going to do minecraftservers.org there. For the priority, the higher priority, the higher on the list. Basically, once you have multiple voting sites in here, five would show up first. One would show up at the end of the list. You kind of get the point there. The higher the number, the higher up on the list it is. For the service site here, this is going to be the root domain. So if we come back over here to our browser and then go to, this is the site right here that we're going to be voting on the server and everything. If we go here, we can see up here at the top, minecraftservers.org is our root domain, right? Without the HTTPS, without anything after it, just minecraftservers.org, so we can go ahead and paste that in here. Now the vote URL link, this is actually going to be this page. This is the page where you can enter in your username and then click I'm not a robot and vote for the server, right? So we're gonna go ahead and copy that link, bring it back over here to Adam, and then paste that link in right here right like so. Vote delay, this is how often you can vote for your server, or players can vote for your server. 24 hours is what it is for pretty much every vote site out there, but if you do find one that's 12 hours or something like that, you can change that. Wait until vote delay, basically, do you want to wait until like the vote delay is passed? If people can vote more than once, do you want them to be able to process rewards instantly? Just leave that false is what I'm getting at here. Vote delay daily, leave that as false as well. Um, certain sites, 
reset it like midnight. And if that was the case, you could change that to true, but you won't need that. Force offline. Basically, if someone's offline, do you want to go ahead and give them the rewards anyway? Don't do that either. And then now we can go on down to where it says the item here. This is what this is going to be represented as on the voting screen. I'm fine with it being a diamond, but you can change that to any material that you want. Now, here's where it gets a bit more complicated, and this is our rewards, okay? Now, as you can see, it's set up like this by default for me, and if it's not set up like this by default for you, then no worries, here's what you can do. You just wanna make sure that you space over here as many spaces as this has. So one, two, three, so three spaces there, and then on the next line, you can start putting your commands. Same thing for the messages, do three spaces over, and then if you want messages to be sent by a player, you're obviously going to uh, move that over. Now, one of the things that's not featured here is running these commands via the console, which is most likely what you want to do instead of having the player run commands. It doesn't make sense for the player to run a command when they vote. You want those commands to be ran by the console. So to do that, we need to come over here to my little example because I did set up an example so we can have it kind of worked out. So if we open this up, we can see that it's commands and then we want to do one space in and do console. So if we come back over here, we want to space down and then do one space in, which it automatically did, and then type console, and then do a colon. Now we want to go ahead and take that next line and put it even with the console there. So just put space and space and there we go. Now that is all even and we are good to go. So everything is even there. Now for messages, we can actually just leave that the same. We don't need to do anything with messages. Now for rewards here, you can make it do whatever you want. You can give people items, give them crate keys, claim blocks. If you have grief prevention, whatever you want to do, any command that can be executed via the console can be put right here. So we're going to go ahead and give, and then we need to do player. And how you do player is, come back over here to my thing, it is percent sign player percent sign. So percent sign player percent sign here so we can give the player and then whatever you want I'm gonna do diamond 64 and then you can actually do multiple things here so if we go ahead and space down another line we will be able to uh, do it again so we can do give player and then we'll do like diamond sword and then we'll just give them one diamond sword and as you can see you can do all sorts of stuff you can run kits for players all anything and everything you want to do there again give them crate keys you would just enter the command there like crate give player voting crate one for example to give them one crate key now for messages you can make it say whatever you want color codes do work here so you can do like and b and it will make it uh, blue for example and you can say you voted on and then you could do like and a and then make it bold and italicized minecraft servers dot org and then you could even do the reward and got a diamond i don't know that'll work so there's that now you can just go ahead and save this you might need to upload it to your server whatever you want to do now it is important if you come back over here to the voting site that you do enter in the information for the voting site so if i go to my servers here we will be able to edit this voting site right there see edit and i do have the ips blacked out but this right here does need to be entered in and that is your votifier public key and you can find that by coming back over here into the server and then clicking on votifier right so we we want the votifier there and then if you click on RSA you'll have a public key now you can open this but don't save it or do anything like that just open it up in Atom and then copy everything and then close out of it don't save anything then come back over here paste that in and you can actually send a test vote and as we can see this vote was successfully sent meaning the server did receive it you can actually even check the console and as you can see vote site minecraft servers.org does not exist and it's adding all that and then player has not joined because well it was just a test vote but it did come through which is good to go so now if we go ahead and save everything here we'll need to restart our server that's why it said it didn't exist let me go ahead and go back to the voting site that way i don't have to blur out the ip again and yeah we'll be good to go there we go the background's now changed to this and we can log in game real quick where i can uh, go over the commands needed for the voting site and yeah all that stuff Look at this, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Isn't that incredible? Let's go ahead and we have this plugin, by the way, slash vote. And as you can see, you can go here and vote. But ne ne nevertheless, nevertheless, let's go ahead and get out of this server, connect to my local server, direct connect, and then we'll just do 192.168.1.1 because I am on the local connection. 
as well. So 1.1, join on in, and then we can do slash vote, and we'll see. Wait, did I restart the server? No, that's a fail. Hold on. Let me restart the server, and then we'll be able to join on in. There we go. Server's restarting. Let this start up. Then we'll be able to join. Fail! This is a good time to tell you about play.breakdowncraft.com, though. As you can see, we've got 1.12.2 custom skyblock, 1.13.2 survival, factions comes May 1st. Come play with us, you will not regret it. The best Minecraft experience you will ever have. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and direct connect. We can see right there that the server is done starting up. I'm just gonna connect to my local IP address because it's on my local like computer here. But nevertheless, once we are in game, I can go ahead and vote. Now, I'm not gonna be able to like, we could do slash vote here and we'll be able to see that I have not voted today. And if I click on all sites, it will give me minecraftservers.org. It would also have listed any other ones that like were a part of the voting sites file we made earlier. What are you doing? Stop it. Slash is, no, okay, so I have to do game mode creative. I don't have essentials on this server. Nevertheless, I'm going to uh, be voting from my phone because I'd already voted today on my main account. That's why there was that weird jump cut because I realized I'd already voted on my main account today on our server. So anyway, long story short, I'm going to be voting on my alt from uh, my phone here. So let me go ahead and do the capture real quick and type in the username and in the webcam at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna be able to see that that is in fact my username and is in fact vote for server, click vote for server and you'll be able to see it come through in the console as well as uh, the vote complete there. As you can see, there it is. Thanks for voting. And now there's the voting game. Did you see that come through? Took about probably 30 seconds there. But thanks Nick King for voting on Minecraft servers. All the work, vote for your first time, yada yada. You have been given 64 diamonds and one diamond and over here we have it in game. And it's that easy. That's how you can set up voting sites. Now there is a lot more information. For example, there is the entire config for voting plugins. So if we jump into plugins here, a voting plugin. There's this huge config file here that you can read through and it is all notated and I would recommend you doing it. It's got a lot of cool stuff in here, but there is so much that there's no way I can go over it all in this video. It's better for you to sit down and take a few hours to read through it all. And if you're serious about your server, that shouldn't be too difficult and very, very much so will be worth doing. On top of that, once we're in game here, you can do slash vote help to be able to see any and all things that like a player would have access to, right? So there is a permission set up for voting plugin if you wanna do any of that and restrict some of these you can but if you you know go over any of these right scroll over any of them it does have a notation as to what they do and then there's the admin commands for voting plugin which you can access with slash ab space help which is admin vote space help and it goes through all of those here as you can see admin vote admin vote background update all sorts of stuff all the way down to doing a fake vote for your servers is possible here in order to you know test things. So there you guys have it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. But congratulations, you now have set up voting on your Minecraft server. This is one of the most difficult parts of like servers, in my opinion, is voting. But for some reason, I just can't understand it too well. So that's why there was a few jump cuts in this video. But I, I try to make it as precise and concise as possible in order to help you out, as well as uh, talk about some things that could go wrong. But nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. Again, give this video a thumbs up. It helps. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.